Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm talking about my own personal experiences with the one and the only art thieves. We all love to hate them because they're bad people. <laughs> now I've had a couple experiences myself because you know that's just what happens when you're posting your art on the internet. It's gonna happen at some point no matter what level your skill is at it's gonna happen. Which is sad like we shouldn't even have to worry about that but no people are selfish and they just want to take your art sometimes. Enough talk Talking, let's dive right in. So the first time I've ever experienced getting my art stolen was back in 2016. It was very early 2016. Like I think it was in January or something. So yeah, this happened quite a while ago. If you think 2016 was like 10 years ago, I don't blame you. It does feel like 10 years ago, but it was literally like what, three years ago now? But yeah, this story happened on Instagram. I used to be so active on Instagram. Every time I drew something, I immediately posted on Instagram. No matter what I drew, I was like, gotta post it now. Uh, at one point I had like 200 posts on there, but now I have like 40 because I archived them all. I'm still active on Instagram. I probably post my story almost every day on there. But I don't know. I just haven't been posting that much due to like, you know, school and all that swaggy stuff anyways back on topic yeah um i used to post doodles all the time in there for my sketchbook i barely posted digital art so someone actually stole a little kid he stole a couple of my doodles or oh, i shouldn't say a couple because he stole like 10 of them and 10 is quite a lot you're probably wondering how did i find out that this kid stole my art honestly it wasn't hard at all someone private messaged me or dm'd me that uh some random little kid just took all my art and claimed as his and i was livid i was not having it. i was like whoa why would someone do that because then again this was 2016 emily and me back in 2016 i drew that anime art that weeaboo art i'm still a weeaboo today but back then i was at the height of my weeaboo days all i drew was anime that's all i drew and i remember one of the exact pictures he stole was one of my original characters from my most iconic video the redrawing old ocs one he stole the blonde haired girl yama he stole art of her and said he drew it and i I scrolled through the comments of his post of my stolen artwork and people were complimenting him like wow you did so good on the drawing and i was so like i said earlier i was livid i was not having it so i shot him up a dm i was like hey that's my art and then i commented on every post that he stole from me saying this is my art please take it down thank you and it actually took a couple days for him to respond to me he was still posting stuff it wasn't my art but he was still posting in between those couple days that i messaged him i feel like he clearly saw my message he just didn't want to respond but then he finally did after so many people commented on his post to take down the art he finally got back to me he told me he was sorry and he just liked the art and i was like okay that's fine but can you give me credit and not say the art is yours because like that's the part that made me mostly mad i'm fine with people posting my art and giving me credit but he just didn't give me credit he just said that it was his and he said he'll delete a couple but he'll keep a couple up and just give me credit and i was like fine with that like okay you could just keep my art up i don't care my art is on the internet and i can't control everything so we only kept up like three of my art works or whatever and yeah like i said that was fine i didn't care and he gave me credit and everything and he stopped saying the art was his <laughs> that's how the story basically ends but i forgot to mention i made a dramatic video on this art thief experience if you've been following my channel since like 2016 you probably remember the video it was like 10 minutes long and i just kept complaining the entire time of the video i was livid <laughs> But yeah, um, that's the first story. I have another one, but this story is a little different. It's not really necessary someone stealing my art, it's someone stealing all my videos. So this all started in, I can't remember what year this was, but it wasn't that long ago. I think it was 2016 as well. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. Hey guys, editing Emily here to interrupt your video. Yeah, I can confirm this happened in 2016 too, after a couple months after the first story happened. So yeah, there you go, get back to the video. But uh, I was at lunch at school one day and I was scrolling through my notifications as I normally do when I go to lunch. And I got a message from Coco, who is a fellow YouTuber that I have been following for a while. And she said that someone stole all my videos. I was like, what? Why would someone do that? So I went to this person's channel and um, I was not very happy. They stole literally all my old videos, like old, old videos that you cannot find on my channel anymore. And they stole them all and re-upload them. And I went through basically every video and commented, please take this video down. It does not belong to you. Thank you. And to this day, a couple years later, I've never gotten any 
response from this person who stole all the videos which makes me believe that it was a bot maybe who just re-uploaded video i don't even know i have no idea i'm so confused about everything to this day because who would want to upload my stupid old videos now i did take down one video and it was my face reveal i gave it a copyright claim and youtube took it down because um that was a very old video and i just didn't want that on the internet anymore because like i looked so young in it compared to now like i didn't wear makeup back then but now i wear makeup and stuff and actually care about how i look so yeah i copyright claimed that and that's like the only video i've ever copyright claimed which honestly it's my right to claim it because like it's my face and i technically own my face <laughs> but the other videos i just don't care about like it's gotten so old to the point where i'm just like fine you could keep them up on youtube i just don't want to be associated with them anymore i'll tell you the youtube channel name his name is gundink which is a really weird name i know but i have a conspiracy theory okay ooh, spooky time okay so when i search up gundink on youtube there's like five other channels that have the same name so that's why i think it's a bot who just took all my videos and re-uploaded them i don't think it's a real person i might be wrong it might be a real person sitting behind the computer downloading all my videos and re-uploading them i don't know but he's not the only person with his youtube channel name and he doesn't have a profile picture on any of these channels and all these channels just have re-uploads from random people so that's the real t it might be a real person it might be a bot i really don't know and i probably will never know the only reason I'll know as if they respond to my like almost three-year-old comments now, but I don't think they will. So in conclusion, I think it's a bot, but it might not be a bot. But the descriptions on the videos are all weird. Like they're take pieces from my original video description, but then like the rest of it's all random words that I didn't even put in that description of the video he re-uploaded. I don't know. It's a weird situation and I still think it's wild to this day. It's kind of creepy too. But yeah, I wanted to share that with you today. I hope you enjoyed the tea being spilled in this video. If you want more of these story time speed paints, let me know because I love making them because they're fun to make. And I love talking about tea because tea is fun to talk about. But yeah, thank you for watching. I probably said that already. If I didn't, then I'm stupid. So yeah, thank you. Uh, Bye.